I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. Hello from Foss Waterway Seaport, a museum that tells the story of our maritime history, including at the Port of Tacoma. It's in this place that celebrates the past that the port held an open house for a project focused on the future. On May 7th, people gathered here to see conceptual design drawings of the new Port Maritime Center. The port is planning a new office building on the east side of the Foss Waterway. On the same property, Tacoma Public Schools will build the Maritime 253 Skills Center. Maritime 253 will provide career and technical education at no cost to high school students from across Pierce County. It's offering a lot of new interests and things that could intrigue people. Always opens doors when you give education to people. I think it's just going to be super exciting for the young people to get involved and then in years later they can say, hey, I was there. I learned to do that. Literally, I think this will be the difference between us losing an entire generation of kids to Seattle or someplace else and realizing that they can actually buy a house and stay in Tacoma. Construction is expected to begin in the spring of 2025. Maritime 253 is expected to be completed by summer of 2026, with the new port building finished around the end of 2026. Just across the Foss Waterway, Melanie Jan LaPlante Dressel Park is now open. Port Commissioners Dick Marzano and John McCarthy were on hand as Metro Parks Tacoma held a ribbon cutting in April. Melanie's Park offers unique play areas for children. A new federal grant will help remove an aging culvert and improve fish passage. The Northwest Seaport Alliance received a $24.5 million grant to replace the Wapato Creek culvert at Pierce County Terminal with a fish-friendly structure. The old culvert is a significant barrier for fish. The project will improve habitat and preserve cargo operations, which could be affected if the culvert fails. Washington Senators Patty Murray and Maria Cantwell both supported the grant. The Senators also supported a new $16 million grant for zero emission drayage trucks at the ports of Tacoma and Seattle. The grant will go toward the deployment of between 36 and 58 short haul trucks. Port of Tacoma Commission President Kristen Ang talked about the Northwest Seaport Alliance's decarbonizing drayage initiative at a White House event in April. The largest container ship by volume and gross tonnage to ever visit the Tacoma Harbor arrived May 3rd. Evergreen's new ship, the Ever Magi, has a capacity of more than 15,000 20-foot equivalent units. It arrived in the Blair Waterway under a tug escort. This spring, top officials from the Environmental Protection Agency visited a new project near the port. Work on the State Route 167 expansion project will protect salmon habitat and reduce stormwater pollution. The Washington State Department of Transportation is doing the riparian restoration in partnership with the EPA, the Puyallup Tribe of Indians, the Department of Ecology, the cities of Fife and Tacoma, and the Port of Tacoma. Port Commissioner Dick Marzano serves on the executive committee of the Puget Sound Gateway Program. Port of Tacoma commissioners meet each month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. To receive agendas by email, sign up at portoftacoma.com for our newsletter, Pierside. Subscribers are the first to find out when free tickets become available for our popular boat tours of the port, which happen each August. May 18th marks International Day for Women in Maritime. Port Commission President Kristen Ang and immediate past president Deanna Keller say it's important to encourage women to pursue careers in the maritime industry. It's been good to go to some of these career fairs and talk to some of the gals walking past the booth and going, come here, you need to come take a look at something like this. Oh, we need more women. If these are great jobs, these are great opportunities. I think you, you have a great life, life of adventure. Commissioners Deanna Keller and John McCarthy joined the Daffodil Festival Parade in April. Earlier this spring, the festival's royal court 
took a bus tour of the port. Finally this month, a beach cleanup with a twist. To mark Earth Month, the Port and Metro Parks Tacoma organized a cleanup of Dickman Mill Park along Ruston Way. More than 50 people volunteered. Hilltop artists created special glass medallions that were hidden on the beach right before the event so volunteers could find treasure among the trash. Thanks for joining us. A new edition of Working Waterfront is coming in June.